Well, first and foremost, I just want to thank God for my salvation and everything that God has been doing within my life. Man, I just, I'm just beyond grateful for, for what God has been doing, just seeing the growth and the development and seeing where God is taking me just even from two years ago. I'm just super grateful, and I want to thank the ministerial team for just letting me have the opportunity to speak here tonight. And for the sake of time, I'm just going to go ahead and jump in the word here tonight. I'm going to go ahead and pray. Lord, we come before you just thanking you, God, for first and foremost for another day of breath that wasn't promised to us, God. Lord, I pray, God, that you would set me to the side, God, that I would decrease so you can increase here in this place. And we're careful to give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name, and we all say amen. And if you're taking notes here tonight, the title of my message is It's Only Up From Here. So this month, we know in the month of August, and we've been in the month and the season of next level, on the rise. And when I continue to think of on the rise, I continue to think to get to the top, to get to the next level, and to get to the next, uh, to the next destination, amen? See, I don't know about you, but I only want to go up from here. See, I want to keep moving forward. I know about, know about you, but there was a time in my life where I was tired of backtracking. I was tired of going through the same motion, through the same storms, going back and forth and back and forth. But I'm letting you know that here in this season, I said, you know what, God? It's only up from here. No more going back. It's my time, and we're only moving up from here. Can somebody say amen? amen. So here tonight, I have four ways that God was just revealing to me on how we can get ourselves to the next level. We know sometimes it's not easy, it's difficult to be able to see how we can get to the next level within our walk with God. So here tonight, the first point that I have is the first way that we can get to the next level or to see ourselves on the rise is you have to get exposed. Say, your neighbor, get exposed. See, uh, last year I was in a season where I was there in uh, Third Wave Hollywood. I had the opportunity to uh, pioneer and help the church right there within the campus literal blood, sweat, and tears. But let me know that pioneering is not an easy thing, amen? And I remember I had the opportunity to sit in a, in a meeting with Pastor Sonny and some of the leaders, and I love this quote that he said, and it always stuck with me, and he said, in order to become mega, you have to get exposed to mega. See, and I love how, the ch I love how our church is known as Mega Mesa. See, because we're known here that people know that mega things take place here. Mega things are happening. Revival is taking place. There is so much more that is in store for this church. Mega leaders are being shaped here. We're seeing people get sent out from this church. We're sending out pastors. We're sending out missionaries. We're sending out people to go and lead future leaders in different countries and all parts of the world. And we're all seeing this in such a short period of time. See, we're seeing people take their place and God is moving and blessing their lives. And it's because they got exposed to mega things. They're getting exposed to a mega God. And they're getting exposed around mega leadership. And we know that God has a mega anointing upon our church. See, if we want to see this happen within our lives, we got to get in the room. You got to get around what's happening, church. You got to start taking your place right here. Because God called you here for a certain reason and it's time to take your place. It's time to get under leadership. It's time to get in the pathways here at the church. It's time to get exposed to the vision of the house. See, if you want to get exposed to more of God's voice, you got to get exposed to the word of God. If you want to get exposed to more of his works, you got to start exercising the tools that God has given you. The, uh, God has given you tools of prayer and fasting in the word. See, I like how uh, the story about uh, the woman who, who touched the, the, the hem of Jesus' garment I like how I was reading the, the message translation. It said, if I could just touch my finger on his garment, if I could just get right next to him, if I could just get into the room, something can happen. I can receive my healing. And that's the same thing with here in the church. If, what if happens if you just stepped out? What if I just got to this altar call instead of sitting in my seat? What if I got under leadership, the, the anointing that would take place in my life? What would happen if I got to a marriage class or to a leadership class? What could happen in my life? You got to get exposed, church. You got to start getting into the room. Amen. See, another way that we can help us rise and get to another level is you can't do things on your own. See, we weren't called to live this life alone. We're not called to serve alone, and we're definitely not called to fight our battles alone. And this was a, this was a big thing that I faced within my life. You know, with, with, within the battles of my life, I know that uh, I've experienced church hurt. I've experienced different things. I, I've lost trust in people's lives. And, but then also know that pride can kick in. I don't need anybody to tell me what to do. I don't need to get involved with anybody else's life. It started to affect my mindset. It, it started to affect my walk. It started taking me places that I thought I, could never, uh, that I, thought I would never see myself in. 
But once I started open up, once I began, I remember the day clearly. I finally, uh, I thank God for Junior because uh, I started getting involved in the D home. And I said, you know what? God was showing me through that week. I remember God kept showing me the word. You can't fight this alone. You got to talk to somebody. You got to talk to somebody. And the battles that I was facing, I said, okay, you know what? Maybe I can do it alone. But I wasn't winning the battles at all. I was sitting there and I was struggling and I was battling. But once I started to open up, I began to get understanding. See, I got the help that I needed. I began to get clarity within my life. I've learned that it's better to learn from your mentors than to learn from your mistakes. See, you you need your brothers in Christ here in this place. You need your sisters in Christ because the things that weigh us down, they can they they are there to help you get out of those situations. See, when you're there when uh, and not fighting alone, it's accountability, it's a covering. There's encouragement in it, and it builds a trust. Amen. See, it's just like the same thing when you when you go to the gym and you need a spotter. I remember just not that long ago, Junior was here. And we were at the gym. And Junior's like, Vince, come with me. I need a spotter. It's just there. So it's what a spotter is, it's, it's there to only not to support the weight, but they will help you make sure that you use the right technique to protect yourself from injury. See, when we're struggling in life, when we need someone who is, we need someone to help come, come and help us and take the weight off of our shoulders. See, we need a community here in this place because we're going to face challenges and the things will get hard. And we need people in our lives who will cover us, to protect us, but also to help us carry us in different seasons. Proverbs 27, 17, the Bible reads, as iron sharpens iron, so a friend sharpens a friend. My next point here is that we can't be fearful. See, we can't be fearful and we can't be afraid of what's next to come. See, we're, we're going to go to the next level. There's things that are going to, uh, we're going to start going on the rise. But how many must know that responsibility comes with that? Things are going to, there's going to be, there's going to come a little weight with going to the next level of getting to somewhere that you've never been before. See, the call comes with a price. Our, our walk with God is going to take some sacrifice. It's going to take sacrificing of some things. It's going to take sacrificing of time, even our finances, maybe even loved ones at times. But you're going go, to you're gonna battle. When, it goes to, when it's time to go to the next level, you're going to go through the fire. The storms are going to come. But this is where your faith is going to kick in. See, we're going to need some wa- that, that water walking faith, amen, that walking on water, that, that faith that can move mountains, but don't fear of what is next. That was a big thing of mine is, man, okay, I know that God had a plan for my life. I, I knew that it was my time. I, I knew it was time for me to step out, but I was afraid of all the weight that was going to come with it, the responsibility, because we're going to have to put a little more work in. You're going to have to put a little bit more effort, but know that, that with God, that he can help us get through these situations and through these times of, you know what, God, you're going to take care of me. I know you're going to provide. I know you're going to be there. We have to continue to have faith in that, amen. Jeremiah 29, 11. That is clear for the plans I know that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to hurt you, but to give you a hope in the future. And my last point here this evening is that we got to take action. See, it's time to take your mountain. I know that's something that uh, Sister Carmen told me in the parking lot. She said, Vince, you've been here. You've been grinding. You've been doing. Now it's time to take your mountain. It's time to start putting your foot forward. Amen. It's time that we start putting action behind our prayers. See, God saved your life, and he's been doing the work, but now it's time to get in the game. It's time to take your place. It's time to reach more souls. It's time to get involved in the church. See, there's no more just sitting around and and sitting a seed and leaving, but it's time to start living out your purpose that God has for your life. See, if God called you to build a ministry, start building. If God's called you to take a city, start strategizing. You want your family serving God? Well, make your, we'll make your home a godly home. Start leading by example. See, God has given you a vision, start to chase it. If God has given you dreams, to, so go ahead and start chasing it. Put some action behind the vision, the dreams that God has given you. I really love this quote, and it said, dreams without actions are just hallucinations. If you're not putting actions behind your dreams, you're just there, just stuck in the clouds. You're just there. You're not putting action behind anything. You got to remember, church, that our church is on the rise. God is moving in this place. It's time to start making moves. It's time to get to the next level. It's time to grow and it's time to build. Tell your neighbor, it's time to build. But we can't build if we don't have your help, church. We need you here this evening. Are you ready to go up from here? Tell your neighbor, it's only up from here. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go to the next level. I'm ready to take my place. I'm ready to take my mountain. But it's up to you, church. Are you ready to take your place? Are you ready to live out the purpose that God has for your life? 
It's only up from here. And with that, I'm going to go out and close in prayer. Lord, we come before you just thanking you, God. I pray here this evening, God, that you will continue to remind us, Lord, that you have given each and every one of us a purpose, Lord. You have called us, God, to take that mountain, God. You have called us to, to go to the next level, whether it be in our marriage, God, in our leadership, God, whether it be in our families, Lord. Begin to remind us tonight that, Lord, there is no more going back. There's no more staying in one spot. But, God, we're going to continue to see ourselves level up, God. Continue to bring anointing here in this place. And we're careful to give you all the praises, all the glory, and all the honor. In Jesus' name we say. Amen.